Hi, I'm Pam Fox. Thanks for watching my channel. So today I'm going to do a video on what I eat in a day. I haven't done any videos on what I eat in a day. Um, mostly because it just doesn't fit into my schedule. So I'm not doing, um, I'm not going to be shooting a video of what I eat in a day. I'm just going to be talking about it briefly because I got another comment from Kalua. Hi Kalua. Um, very pretty name by the way who asks um, what I eat in a day. She's just started her vegan diet and she is concerned about getting bored with her food. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to say about that is um, it took me a while to realize, but the truth of the matter is there is much more variety, <clears throat> excuse me, on a plant-based diet than there is on a standard American diet. And you will find this in time. Um, and before I talk about what I eat in a day, I want to I want to recommend that you pick up this book, The Starch Solution, by Dr. John McDougall. Um, and the reason I recommend it, one, it's a great diet, but two, it's there's just it's a great way to keep on track. Um, now that you're beginning a vegan diet, there's going to be a lot of information and support in here that's going to help you feel like you're on the right track. And then there's a ton of great recipes in here as well. And just a lot of good information that's going to support you. You don't have to. I know for myself, when I began, I did raw till four. And for myself, I just feel like I need that structure and that support, the recipes. Um, so I began with raw till four. I actually recommend the starch solution um, only because I felt like there were a few bugs in raw till four where I wasn't enjoying my food. I felt like I was force feeding myself. So you don't want that because then you won't enjoy your food. And if you don't enjoy your food, you're less likely to stick with it. So I switched over to more of a starch solution style of eating and I've been much happier with that because I no longer count calories to make sure I'm getting in enough calories. I am eating until I'm satisfied. And then if I get hungry later, I eat again. And I just listen to my body telling me that I have eaten enough food. And now I think it's helpful that I did start with the starch salute or with the raw till four. Um, because that kind of, it helped me, it really helped me to have a good relationship with food, to not be afraid to eat and to realize that we do have caloric needs. Um, but if that 2,500 calorie goal that raw till four suggests is accurate, that I don't necessarily agree, agree with only because we all are different sizes, which would indicate a different caloric requirement. We all have different activity levels. So are there, there are some different factors that factor into what our caloric needs are. So I think that 2,500 calorie goal is a little silly to be shooting for, you know, for every, every woman. So, but I do think it's good to have a plan and to have something that you're checking in with every day, something that's supporting you, something that's giving you new ideas. So I recommend the starch solution. I also recommend Savvy Menke's um, YouTube channel, Earthling Nutrition. She gives a lot of good information. They're all high carb, low fat, vegan diets. It's all pretty much the same food. Um, again, it's just that structure. So what do I eat in a day? Typically, now that I'm doing more of a starch solution style of eating, when I was on raw till four, I ate raw fruits and vegetables all day. And like I said, it was very difficult for me to to get in the number of calories I felt like I needed to because when you're eating just raw fruits and vegetables you have to eat a lot in order to meet those caloric needs so I just felt like I was force feeding myself all day and I was not happy with that I really enjoyed my fruit breakfast but I just dreaded a fruit and vegetable lunch so now what I do is and I'm so much happier with this style of eating is I eat oatmeal for breakfast um you could have any hot cereal, whatever you like. I hope you like hot cereal. I love it. I always have. Um, but I prefer oatmeal. I also like um, rice meal or cooked um, cream of rice, which you can make just by putting rice in a high-powered blender and knocking it down into you know a finer consistency, and you can make your own cream of rice. But it's so versatile. It's such a versatile way to eat your breakfast. Personally, my favorite way to eat it is with a little bit of raisins. I cook the raisins right in there with the oats. And I put, um, when the oatmeal is just about done, 
I put in a whole cup of frozen blueberries. I get them at Costco. They're not very expensive. I just recently saw that Costco has organic frozen blueberries. So I just recently bought a bag of those. They're a little bit more, but I believe it's worth it. So anyway, I put a whole cup of um, frozen blueberries on top. I don't even stir them in. I put the lid on, turn the burner off and let those steam for a minute so that they're not frozen anymore. And they just plump up and they're so delicious. And I put a lot in there. And then I put um, just a small handful of some mixed nuts. I, I got some kind of a trail mix at, at Costco as well that's got pistachio and almond and walnut walnut in there. And I just put just a little bit in there, maybe, you know, just a sprinkling. Um, and then I'm not a huge fan of nuts, but I'm trying to experiment with adding in some healthy fats. And then I dump a, a, some organic applesauce on top of that. And then any kind of non-dairy milk on top of that. Um, I like all the non-dairy milks. There's hemp, there's oat, there's rice, there's al almond, there's soy. Um, recently, since I broke my collarbone, I've been using sesame milk, which I make on my own and put that on there. And it's delicious. And I even put uh, about a tablespoon of raw organic sugar on there as well. And I really love the raw organic sugar because it's kind of crunchy. You know, it's got a thicker consistency, a crunchier consistency. It doesn't dissolve right away on the hot oatmeal. So that's what I've been eating. But you can do it however you want. Whatever fresh fruit you love or whatever is in season. Or maybe you grow your own strawberries or, or whatever. Peaches, nectarines, bananas, um, dried fruits, frozen fruits, berries, whatever you like. Mix it in there. If you feel like you need to put a little bit of sugar, don't be afraid of sugar. A little bit of sugar is not going to hurt you. You're on a plant-based diet, which means you're not eating any sugar, um, just natural fructose. So it's okay to add a little bit of sugar. That just means you're adding a few calories. And if it's organic and it's raw, there's nothing at all wrong with that. Remember, you're, all of the cells of your body require sugar, basically glucose. And fructose is perfectly, um, well, that's going back to the fruit. But yeah, don't be afraid of sugar. So and if you are, then omit it. But I don't. And I... I don't worry about it, but so that's an example of breakfast. Um, you know, you could do smoothies too, if you want to stick to all fruit. Um, I'll move on to lunch. So what I do is another cooked starch meal for lunch. Examples are um, spaghetti, rice with curried vegetables, pizza, any type of Mexican dish. Um, any dish with sweet potatoes, they're delicious. Wraps, any kind of wraps, veggies in there. Um, I My go-tos are spaghetti. I eat a lot of spaghetti. I eat a lot of uh, rice with curried vegetables. I love pizza. Um, I love um, potatoes. Just I just, um, a lot of times I'll put them in the oven in the morning while I'm getting ready and bake five or six medium-sized potatoes, wrap them in foil, throw them in my lunchbox, and then I'll eat those with lunch with some organic ketchup. <laughs> it's fantastic. Very satisfying. And then oftentimes I'll have a salad with, with these cooked meals, so I get my greens in as well. And burritos is one of my all-time favorites, and that's something you can eat at a lot of restaurants. They'll have a burrito and just ask for no meat, no cheese, no sour cream, and and they're delicious. They take a little getting used to. Your palate will change and that's going to take time. I remember the first time I had a vegan burrito, I was just like so disappointed because <laughs> I love my sour cream and my cheese. But now I can eat a vegan burrito and just moan through the whole burrito. It is so stinking good. I love it. So then what I've been doing in the past month or so, two or three, maybe even four nights a week is having fruit, a fruit meal for dinner or maybe fruit and salad, or maybe fruit on salad. Last night I had a huge mango. If you are not eating mangoes right now, go out and get some mangoes because they are in season and they are so good. Oh my gosh, I had one for lunch today and I was just swearing up and down to myself that it was the best mango ever in the history of mangoes, which I say, I've said that before about other mangoes. Sometimes they're so good, I can't even believe it. But last night I got home and I had a huge mango and then I made myself some banana ice cream in my Vitamix, which is just frozen bananas, a little bit of frozen blueberries, a little bit of liquid, a little bit of rice milk in there. Um, for blendability, I put a little, uh, the juice of half a lemon in there as well to give it a little bit of tart. And that was my dinner, <laughs> which doesn't sound like much, but I think there was like five bananas in there and a cup of, of blueberries. So it filled me up. I had a hard time eating the whole thing. But just fruit for dinner. And if you follow um, Savvy Menke over at Earthling Nutrition, you'll find out um, the benefits of fat oxidation while you sleep if you're eating fruit for dinner. 
because when um, you're eating just fruit for dinner, then insulin is not present in the bloodstream um, throughout the night while you're sleeping, which means fat oxidation can take place. Fat oxidation comes to a halt when insulin is present in the bloodstream. So that's kind of an exciting little new thing that I didn't know about that I could um, optimize my potential to burn fat while I sleep. So there's some examples of what I eat. And your other question you asked me, Kalua, was what about, um, you say that your husband is not a vegan. My husband is also not a vegan. I'm running out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm gonna, I have a lot to say about this. I'm going to make a part two. I'll, I'll, I'll do a whole nother video and I will dedicate it to that. So um, keep it up. You're on the right track. Remember that everybody is different and sometimes you have to customize a diet that suits you and you know the foods that you like might be different than the foods that I like and the way your body responds to them responds to them might be different than the way I do the healing that may be taking place in you the weight loss it's different for everybody make sure you're drinking your water make sure you're getting in good quality sleep I have other videos where I talk about these things um, and again, when you, you know, when you have support um, from a book like The Starch Solution or um, whatever vegan diet you choose, those, those things are going to be, you're going to be encouraged to do those things, to make sure you're prior prioritizing your sleep, to make sure you're getting in enough water, to make sure you're, um, maybe you need to supplement with vitamin B12. And it's all going to be explained in a book like this. So... Um, the vegan lifestyle is mostly about the food, but we try to incorporate other healthy habits. And I see that you're exercising. Good job. Keep that up. And as long as you're get, meeting your caloric needs, you're going to have abundant energy that's going to make you begin to really look forward to your workouts. At least that was my experience um, with all that excess energy for the first time really in my life. Um, I really started to exercise and to look forward to that time when I got to exercise. So keep up the good work keep it plant-based and um, stay tuned for part two of this video where I'll talk about my husband. All right, that's enough of that.